What is up guys? Welcome to another Twin Motion video. In this video we're going to look at sky maps, but not just sky maps. We've done a video on that already. We're going to look at custom sky maps, using your own, finding your own online, applying them directly. It's really easy. So before we get into it, if you happen to learn something, which I really hope you do, then please demolish that like button. It really, really helps me out a lot. Okie dokie. Getting into it now. Where do we find this, of course? I mean, my goodness. Uh, we want to quit medium mode, of course, right? But we come over here to lighting and then sky dome. We can turn this on, turn this off. Obviously, if I have one, I have this one that's, you know, from Twin Motion itself. Really great, really great stuff. Um, but, you know, eh, without one, it's kind of meh. I'll be honest. It's not that great um, now that we're spoiled with sky dome. Uh, but besides that, I want to use my own. Maybe I have found one online that's either really nice looking, it fits my site well, my setting, what I'm going for, or more importantly, it is one that I took myself that is at the site of my project location. Maybe you're lucky enough to be doing a new construction of a project and you have your whole project model and you have a 360 shot of that location in your model, which is which it, like in real life, that would be perfect. Then apply it to the model and you literally get to see what it's like around your model as if it were already built. That's fantastic. I, I've had the luxury of being able to do that like once in my whole life and it worked out so perfectly and it looks so beautiful. But that's not always easy to come by. Now I will say if you can, that's just the best way to sell any kind of design. But besides that, how can we take our own, or in this case, just take one online, one that's already made for us. How can we take that and then apply that into motion and just use it ourselves? Well, I'm going to actually work with a specific image and I can show you why, because this image is pretty boring. It's this one. I've got a basic sky. There's nothing that fantastic going on. And I want to, I, I found, you know, not only a, a good website that I like, but I found a good sky map that looks good and of course twin motions look great and i could probably thumb through that and find one that would look good for this kind of a shot but i want to use a custom one so i have found this website i like it a lot it's polyhaven they have a bunch of free textures models hdris which is what we're interested in uh, but again there's a ton of websites so don't get hung up on this one it doesn't have to be this one uh, because there are many, but they're, these are great quality. They're free, and they have multiple different formats that we can work with. So before we download this, I want to actually show you in Twin Motion how we do this. Well, let's go to my lighting, of course. My sky dome needs to be on, uh, which currently is just this gray mess. And let's go to more. And I can see that this is currently empty, obviously, but these three lines are what we're most worried about and where we can find everything we want to see. And we can see open, refresh, default, and go to gallery. So default gives me whatever the default happens to be, which is probably just some basic sky dome, one of them that are within twin motion. And it's, it's okay. It's better than what we had. Um, but besides that, it's not what we want because it's not a specific one that we made ourselves over online. I can go to library, and this will just show me the rest, which, sure, this is fine. Um, refresh, uh, that's not going to work unless we use our own, but then I can click open. And this is what we're concerned about here. Now, it just so happens that you can see all of these different Twin Motion HDRIs, which is awesome. You can see them in Twin Motion content, Twin Motion again, and then HDRIs, and it, it, here's what I'm looking at. Now, I can't seem to find exactly where all of them are. Um, I'm sure they're there to some degree, but we could find them that way. Now, the point that all of this is telling me is that I don't have to use any of these that Twin Motion works like has already built in, or has I've, that I've downloaded. These are where the ones that I've downloaded will populate. But I can use these other file types, which they're considered cube maps, which I guess this is what this is. Um, but the point is that we want to use .exr files or .hdr files. And so if we can find that online, or we can make that ourselves, then we can use it, and we can literally open it right here. So I'm going to go back to Polyhaven. We're going to pick one out that looks good enough, I guess, uh, for this type of a, sh a scene or a shot, and we can go from there. So I like this one a lot. It looks pretty good. When I click on it, yeah, I can even get a preview in 3D, and clearly, look at this. This is really nice stuff. Really, really nice. Now, 
what we want to look at next up here is the top right. So I can I can make this any resolution I want, which is absolutely absurd. A 24K, you know, if you're doing super, super, super VR stuff, I would probably only go to 16, much less 24. Uh, but I want probably just 8K. And this is where we have, look at this, conveniently HDR or EXR. Both the file types that will work just fine. And use whichever one you want. The HDRs are a bit bigger doesn't really matter. I prefer HDR, but in the end, it will not matter at all. So we just click on download and boom, there's no mess. There's no nothing else that we have to work with. I'm going to save this right here, save it. And then we will go to this location into Inmotion. All I have to do at this point is go to my three dots, click open. I'm going to go to that location and there we go. There it is. I'm going to click open and it's going to load up immediately. Look at that. That's so quick. And not only that, but it works with the sun. That was the biggest concern I had. Um, the way HDRIs are built is obviously taking light into account and taking the fact that the brightest spot is <laughs> likely the sun when we're talking about exterior shots, of course, but that's going to match nicely with twin motion already. So let's rotate this around. And just to confirm that, we can see that as the sun moves around over here, we can see that, yes, indeed, it is following this sun, which is great. That's exactly what I want to see. And of course, I want that sun in the shot. And look, look at this. This confirmation right here is, is probably the best thing I could have asked for. Now, of course, I, I'm happy with this. But when we put this together with the path tracing that we now have in 2022, we are just set. Now, the rest of the settings and everything else that we looked at as far as uh, the sky map settings and everything else can be found in the previous sky maps video. So I would highly encourage you to check that out. If you're curious about any of these settings, what they do, when you're supposed to use them, when they're not anything like that. So check that out because that'll answer every other question. This one was purely looking at custom adding your own, whatever in the future, we might look at actually making our own and how we do that because it's, it's not the easiest thing, but you might be lucky enough to have a three camera, you know, where you literally press a button. It takes a 360 shot. And you're good to go. But besides that, it's kind of hard to piece it together yourself. So I'm going to render this out. You're going to see it on the thumbnail. It looks pretty good. Um, but besides that, we have looked at custom sky domes. That's cool. Really easy. I'm going to leave a link to Polyhaven in the description below so you can use that. Obviously, there's plenty of others. But that will do it for this video. If you happen to learn something, which I hope you did, please demolish that like button. It really, really helps me out a lot. I appreciate it if you lasted this long in the video. It really does help me out. I will see you in the next Twin Motion video. Have a wonderful day. Thank you very, very much for watching.